So if you're watching this, then obviously you know that WhatsApp is currently not available on iPad OS. So if you go to the App Store and search for WhatsApp, you'll just see a bunch of apps from some third party uh, companies, but nothing from WhatsApp itself. I am using the iPad Pro, the 11 inch version from 2020. And um, yeah, if, you, if you're looking to use WhatsApp on the iPad, your only choice is to go for WhatsApp Web. Now, if you pull up Safari and go to WhatsApp Web, let me type it in. You will get this page that tells you that WhatsApp Web is supported in Safari. So you can't use WhatsApp Web with the Safari browser. You have to do, use Google Chrome, Mozilla or Edge, which is very inconvenient, I might say. Luckily, I have Firefox, so I'm going to pull up a web, WhatsApp Web on Firefox. It takes, let me navigate to it. Takes a takes a bit of time to load for me, so let's just wait it out while it loads. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here's the code. So I'm gonna pull up my phone and then I'm gonna put it to the right to the bottom right of the screen. Open up WhatsApp. Then go to options, link a, a device link a device yeah then need to authenticate security measure then i'm gonna scan the code and voila you have whatsapp web on the ipad yeah so you can see it says safari mac os i don't know why it says mac os but this is uh the ipad os um so that's it that's the only way i know to get whatsapp on the ipad right now Hopefully this changes in the future and uh, they're going to develop a native version for the for the iPad. But until then, we just have to keep waiting. And just like with many other things, I feel like not having an app like WhatsApp is really holding back the iPad experience for me, at least when it comes to the iPad Pro. And I hope that that changes in the future. But until then, let's just keep waiting and uh, hope for the best.